Here we go. All right. Sorry. Hopefully it's live. Stay live. Okay. Hello. Welcome back. Sorry about the technical difficulties. YouTube crashed. But we're back and the game hasn't even started. Dwayne, you're clear! Tim. Chris, we're good! Oh, shoot. She's still not. We're good. All right. Anyway, Arizona State, Raptor Quidditch at the University of Utah. These teams, in spite of being in Arizona together twice, have not played each other yet. So we'll see how this goes. Raptor Quidditch, still a relatively new team with lots of old players. ASU, probably not thrilled about being out, kept out of the conversation about championship contender. Got something to prove. Let's see how this game plays out, shall we? And we're off. All right, Arizona State with the Quaffle. Uh, Cassandra Rascon breeding out a uh, raptor for her keeper to keep walking it up. That's, that's number seven, Quinn Pitcher, who was that keeper, by the way. Anyway, Luke Steining and not Lucas Williams. Sorry about that mix up. Passes it off to captain manager Sam Houston with an adorable scrunchie, if I say so myself. Well, yes, I did make it. I do make team scrunchies. Hit me up. Um, speaking of selfless plugs, uh, the USQ stream today is brought to you by Face Beat It. Um, normally my dulcet tones are on that stream, but instead I've stepped in to do this one. So I, I think Raptor Quidditch with the first goal of the game. It is one to nothing Raptor Quidditch over ASU. That goal from Maria Stokes of Anteater Quidditch. Oh my goodness, I'm crooked. Let me adjust. My apologies. Quinn Pitcher shrugging off. Can't quite tell who that is from here, but shrugging off a raptor. Trying to find an opening. He's going up with Luke Steining. Was that a good choice? Yeah, he's going to go for the little... We're tied at one. What's the game time? Team's exchanging goals so far. Steining. Oh! Whether or not Maria Stokes helped, and I think she did, she tipped it in. It is 20 to 10, Raptor Quidditch over ASU. Aha! Uh -huh, so she did help, see? Quinn Pitcher bringing it up for again for ASU. Luke Steining trying to get in his way. He turns, he turns, looking for that small hoop again, doesn't, oh, it is good. So 20, nothing, ah, oh, this tripod got tweaked with while I was out. We'll work with this. Anyway, Luke Steining bringing it up again for a Raptor Quidditch. Uh, beaters, he's got Danica and Natty Lou protecting him. Number 69, I believe that's the Greek freak as they call him. Anyway, Luke Steining with another goal, 30 to 20. If you had asked me what this game would be, an exchange of goals would not have been what I would have guessed. Can I get a time update? Three minutes. Three minutes. Man, we're getting two goals a minute-ish. That's exciting for all eight of you watching. I'm sure people may not have tuned in thinking that this would be one-sided. They're lost. Um, but they can tune in later because this game will stay on USQ's channel. Anyway, Sam Houston playing point she's a tenacious one former manager of the salt lake city hive may the bees rest in peace little did i know that exterminate the hive hashtag i came up with would come true not the way i wanted anyway asu bringing it up number 10 that's will bray gets it off to i'll figure out who that was in a minute but we're tied at 30 now All right, tied at 30. Luke Steining bringing it up again. 
again to Maria Stokes, a favorite target of his, it looks like. I haven't been able to watch a Raptor Quidditch game since Crimson Cup at the beginning of the season, and a lot has changed, clearly. <coughs> Meanwhile, I haven't seen ASU at all. They've only played in Arizona this year, as far as I'm aware, and I have not made it out to the desert. I think the last time I watched the tournament there was when we had people out there. Um, Monty Burton tosses back a bludger, is going napalming, trying to uh, make some space for his teammate. Doesn't quite work out. Luke Steining dodging. Dip, duck, and stop. He dropped his room where he's supposed to be, though. Smart boy. Hello, friends. Stay warm. Yellow, blue. How's Lost Beach, uh, Lost Beach, Lost Boys Long Beach going? Lost Boys were winning like Nice. Yellow card number 10, illegal contact. That's Will Bray. Um, according to his teammates, he practices his toughness by getting pepper sprayed in the face. <laughs> Apparently that is true. Um, Getting like rosters and info on teams has been so helpful because try as I might to travel as many tournaments as I can I don't know everybody. I wish I did and so thanks to all the teams that submitted rosters If you haven't and you get them to me tonight I'll have them for tomorrow and ideally the rest of the season Anyway, we're back at it again Luke Steining bringing it up for Raptor Quidditch Steining to Miller Looking for an opening, gets it up to, can't tell who, but it didn't quite work out. Oh yeah, that was for Sam Houston. She's got a problem. She's on the ground and she's up again because it's an ASU quaffle. Looking for a goal while a player down. Are they, ooh, maybe a hand. Oh gosh, this, sorry about the tripod. It's gone loose. All right, Luke Steining with the quaffle. However, Amani Burton and Cassandra Rascon have control for ASU, and I wouldn't run into that if I was him. Uh, fun fact, Cassandra Rascon has played in the last four, I'm oh, sorry, last three uh, finals, both when the college and community division were combined and last year when they were not. So she's got experience in tough games for sure. Anyway, Luke Steining waits for the beaters to go for each other, passes it. If that's Maria Stokes again, ASU is on to him because that did not work. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, according to the Raptor sideline, they got control, and I don't think they're fibbing. All right, Will Bray bringing it up again for giving his back to the Raptor chaser. He's not having it. 49 is beat out. Bray driving, driving, steining, tries to stop it, doesn't quite make it. The score is now 40 to 30 ASU. It is their first lead of the game, but we do have a stoppage. Captain Amani Burton heading out to have a chat with one of his players. Fun fact, I drafted Imani on one of my Snow Cup teams way back when he was a freshman, and it's been really cool seeing him improve, even though we really haven't been in touch since. I love fantasy tournaments. You meet people you wouldn't otherwise. All right, penalty time negated due to the goal. Score is 40 to 30. ASU finally leads. Can I get a game time, please? Six and a half minutes. <sighs> All right. I do love how good a communicator head referee Chris Wing is. He's always very clear and loud, and his hand signals are second, really, only to Martin Pine, if you ask me. And a close second at that. Anyway, back to the game. Luke Steining bringing up for Raptor Quidditch. Has not subbed yet. Natty Lou looking to protect his, his keeper. Raptor Quidditch bringing in slow. A missed beat by Rap uh, ASU, a mistake. No goal, though. Oh, Steining diving! 
After Quidditch, still with the ball, still with the ball. Oh, I don't know if I would have made that choice. Is it good though? It is. Wow, Luke Steinie crushing it. We're tied at 40, ladies and gentlemen. We're almost at eight minutes now. 50 or 15? 15. Yeah, sorry. Um, we're about seven and a half minutes. My mistake. Not the way it, this game is what ASU wants it to go. I'm sorry. Normally, I'm much better at English. I got a degree in it, even. Um, but it's not my first language, so sometimes we have these slip-ups. Anyway, Quinn Pitcher bringing it up for ASU. Twists out of a tackle. Drops the quaffle, though. Picked up by 21 of Raptor Quidditch, uh, Javier Cervantes. Oh! Raptor Quidditch calling for a hit from behind. Yeah. We'll see if it is. The players turned about the same time. I don't know how I would call it. I'm also not a ref, so I'm not going to. We're having a referee meeting. Seems like they got feelings about it. Yeah, that's the box. You see how there's a box on the ground? You're in the box. Oh, I'm not riding at all. I'm not riding, dude. Yeah, that's Angelo. No, they gave me a pronunciation guide. You're fine. It's Papa Constantinou. There we go. <laughs> Shout out to your captain for giving me that, because... All right, we're waiting for... All right, Raptor Quidditch, Luke Steining bringing it up. Shot. That pop shot is really paying off, but seems like he was beat before. No, it was not good. It's not good, you're good. It's not good, so you're fine. Yeah. Ref did not call it good, but good watching though. Good on you. Good idea. This didn't quite work. Anyway. Is that Javier Cervantes? Yes. Oof. 30 seconds left on the It's 50 to 40, and referee Chris Wing is calling another stoppage. Hands up. Hands up. You have 10 seconds left. Yes. He, they said 15 seconds, so they'll count you down from 10. So listen. You're welcome. Are you a rookie? It's okay. Don't be mad. You're doing a good job. Chris Wing looks like he's going to be serving another card. Maybe. Yeah, I see a yellow in his hands. You heard the man. Ten seconds. Woo, all right. It's not raining, but it is breezy. And as cold as it is, I still prefer it over the rain. That being said, if anybody watching this is here and wants to bring me a hot coffee, would not turn it down. Three, two, one, penalty's good. All right. Um, 
69 is back in and knew how to tag back up without being told. Okay, Raptor Quidditch. Game time. We're at nine minutes, still early in the game. Luke Steinen goes for another pump shot. And ASU is wise to it now, makes the stop. ASU with bludger control as well. All right, looks like they're napalming. Uh, for anybody new who might be watching, napalm is when you throw in your own bludgers back to tie up one of the other beaters. It's also been called one and a half. I've heard it called other things I can't remember. Napalm tends to be what I use. Uh, sorry about this moving. The wind is such that it's actually moving my tripod if I don't keep my hands on it. And my hands are trying to stay in my pockets warm. So we'll see how this goes. All right, number nine on Raptor Quidditch is keeper Jared Rothwell subbing in for Luke Steining. <laughs> Ref Chris Dwing is calling a turnover. Whoo, brr. I don't know how cold it is out here. And quite frankly, I don't want to, because whatever the answer is, uh, Raptor Quidditch will think I'm weak because they practiced in the snow before this week. <laughs> Anyway, Quinn Pitcher bringing it up for ASU. 10.30. 10.30. We're at about 10 and a half minutes now. Quinn Pitcher sees an opening. Can he make it? He does. It is the first 20 point lead for ASU in this game. It is 60 to 40. Arizona State over Raptor Quidditch at the University of Utah. 11. 11 minutes. Still pretty early in the game. Plenty of time for things to develop. Um, Raptor Quidditch no longer necessarily playing their top line all the time. And by top line, I mean Luke Steining because he's killing it. Um, but still doing pretty well. ASU has been mixing things up. Haven't really kept the set people in all the time. Neither team seems to be too, too reliant on a top line, which while they're not playing a grueling schedule the way the community teams are, it's still nice to be able to depend on your depth. Will Bray bringing it up for ASU. He's got Jackson Wren beside him at keeper, but he's looking to drive this thing in himself. No good. Got one of his chasers scrambling for it. Maria, Maria Stokes is going for the call fall. And there's a stoppage from Chris DeWing. Let's see. Oh, goodness. What is up? Let me fix the camera in a moment, guys. All right. See, I'm Houston coming in hot for Raptor Quidditch. We're at 12 minutes game time. Horrible. Um, anyway, uh, Raptor Quidditch in a pile with ASU on the other side of that referee. Looks like the beaters are going to have to clean it up for ASU. Send all those Raptors back. Looks like that's Jackson Wren with the quaffle. Gets it back to... I think Quinn Pitcher, I'm picking up these ASU games. Thank you again, Amani Burton, for sending me your team's roster. This is helping me so much. And the people at home, they want to know who's got the ball. From the it is now 70 to 40. ASU beginning to pull away. So I'm hearing on the radio that Long Beach beat Lost Boys. Um, I didn't quite hear the score, but in case you were wondering, ASU driving, driving, driving. 
is now 80 to 48, turning this game around. Game time, guys? 14. 14 minutes! 14! All right. Raptor Quidditch bringing it up slowly, trying something new. Beat. Will Bright beat. We got a thump or something. Radio chatter. Um, I heard official. Um, this is just what I'm hearing, but in case you're wondering, Gambit's definitely made sure not to let the Dobbies take them to overtime again this year. <coughs> driving, driving. Is that Karashi for you? No good. A nice look, though. And we got a stoppage. Maybe it was good. Let's find out. No, no, no. What are you doing? Okay. There's no bias in my Don't stop. Oh, gosh. <laughs> screen so if you can hear me great we're still streaming and if not well I apologize yeah, thank you. if anybody is watching and is in the comments and can tell me whether or not we're live that would be swell Alright, we're back. I'm gonna keep commentating as if we're live, though I'm not sure if we are. ASU bringing up the quaffle again. Kobe Kendall is the snitch for this game. Sam Houston doesn't quite have the reach on AS. <laughs> Sam's going for it. live but shaky thank you jeremy uh, unfortunately my stream is only as good as the hotspot i have which says i'm at full bars but oh no goodness i only have one bar um i'll have to look into this after this game oh god cutting in and out yikes well i apologize um okay we got two bars now i'm trying to keep the hotspot as close to the camera as possible
All right. Papadopoulos is out. Oh, that's right. He's serving the card for. Oh, he is the one gone. Ooh, burr. Yeah, my hotspot's not so hard. We're only at two bars. That's why we're going in and out. I do apologize. I will keep announcing the score though. For example, right now it's 90 to you over Raptor Quidditch. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, this is a two minute penalty no matter how many times are after footage scores? Oof! Good! There was some feeder play back there after the goal. Unfortunately, I had the camera on Kowafu. Discussion about where the bludger should go. Anyway, we got another ASU player in the box. Two of you still watching, I appreciate your patience with our technical difficulties. <sighs> Alright, referee Chris Wing is advocating something. Okay, the goal is no good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I've, I've been mildly obnoxious this week, but not that obnoxious. Oh yeah, you can see. Thank you. All right. Anyway, that I appreciate it. No, you you have to serve the whole time whether or not they score because it's two minutes. Oh my god! No, how many seconds is he gone yet, Steph? No, it's two minutes. You served nine seconds, I think is what they said. You say I've served nine seconds. Anyway, ASU scores in spite of being two down. So the score is one hundred to fifty. The snitch is in. Oh my god, this kid. I need a secret from you. Okay. What time did the red card come? Um, one is at 18, the other is at 27. Alright. Luke Steining to Maria Stokes again. Oh, there was a whistle before that goal, though. We'll see if it was good. So one should be out soon, but the other way. Guys, if you're gonna stand there, you're in the way of anything in the backcourt. Box has to stay there, not box move back. Thank you. Wait. 30 seconds on first penalty. 
Larry Sacky on first penalty. I don't know who. Seekers, tell the seekers what they are. Sorry. Focus Sorry. on the okay. seekers. Five, four, three, two, one. Seekers may seek. First penalty. Ten. First penalty is it? Penalty, you have 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Second penalty is good. All right, ASU back at full strength. The score is 10 ASU, 50 Raptor Quidditch. What is the time? 18.30. 18.30. Timekeeper's killing it, by the way, managing multiple penalties and this uh, seeker countdown. Way to go, Anita Quidditch. All right. That's another ASU gold. That was good. So it's 110 to 50. Luke Steining trying to get his team back into it. He's back on. He gets it to Maria Stokes again, but ASU is on to that combo. Meanwhile, at Seeker, Sam Houston trying to get in the way of the ASU Seeker. Kobe Kendall's like, nah, none of you can touch. It's fine. <coughs> <coughs> All right, we've got a lot going on. Let's do our best to keep up, shall we? Um, I believe that's Colton Lish with the ball. Got an interesting uh, stride there. Gets it off to Quinn Pitcher. All right, we're gonna keep in the seeker play in the far left corner while trying to keep as much of the quaffle. The quaffle's pretty stationary Corey, right now. Go, Corey. Don't play these games. <laughs> <laughs> Corey Dorenzo, I believe that's it. Yeah, Dorenzo, Dorenzo, um, the seeker for ASU. Oh, nice stop by Luke Steining. Hey, he you up like that. Don't play this game. Let's go. Shot. Good. Score is 120 to 50. ASU over Raptor Quidditch. Luke Steining wants to put another one on the board for the Raptors. Gets it to Maria Stokes again. And it's no good beat before it looks like the call. As much as I love passing your teammates, sometimes shooters gotta shoot. Quick pitcher again for ASU bringing it up. Scott. Uh, Cassandra Raskin next to him. Ooh, burr. Sam Houston trying to get in the middle of it. We got a new seeker for ASU trying to see their number. Oh, uh, looks like that's Sam Moss. Miller trying to get that ball from pitcher of ASU. Not working out for him. No good. It was a beat before. The score, as a reminder, is 120 ASU, 50 Raptor Quidditch. Quite the turnaround from when Raptor Quidditch was leading this game. If only by one, still impressive for a team like this. Against a franchise's story, it is ASU, whether or not this is an off year for them. Field three is at snitch on pitch, so they're still going to be going for a bit. All right, Quinn Pitcher picking up steam, tossing off some Raptor defenders. Maybe should have waited a little longer, get a little closer. Meanwhile, at seeker number 72, Antoine, man. You didn't give me a pronunciation guide for this one. Kepsik. We're going to say Kepsik. It's going for Kobe Kendall. Are you guys keeping track of the handicaps? Cool. And we got a stoppage. We are excellent see uh, snitch. Also a good seeker, too. The two tend to go hand in hand. Oh, burr. It is 60, Raptor Quidditch, 120 ASU. Ah, 
Ah, yes, we're having a two-whistle situation. For those of you who are new to the game, if there is a card and a goal, or a stoppage and a goal, the first goal, the first whistle is for the goal, and the second whistle is to go. Players get trigger happy, go a little early. All right, we got the pitcher bringing it up. We got an audience on the other side of the field. Not quite sure what team they're from, but they seem invested. Everybody's layered up, so it's hard to tell. I think I see some NAU jerseys that though. Ooh! That secret game, too good. Let's get those quaffle players out of the way, shall we? Antoine Kepsik, and that's how I'm going to keep saying until somebody tells me otherwise. Uh, going at Kobe Kendall. Meanwhile, ASU Kobe. taking their time. Kobe! 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 First handicap! Lydia! Lydia! Kobe! First handicap! Lydia! Kobe! Lydia! Or another yeah, yeah. ASU go ASU scored. Yeah, yeah, ASU scored. Oh, it is 130 to 60. ASU leads Raptor Quidditch. Luke Steining bringing it up. Steining to can't tell who that is from here, so I'm sorry about that. Anyway. Doesn't really go anywhere. Maria Stokes beat. After put it still blocking. 24. We're at 24 minutes game time. And Raptor Quidditch is not about to give this game up. ASU, I believe, is the pot two team in this pool with UCLA being number one. So Utah really trying to punch up make a statement to improve their bracket placement tomorrow. Colton Lish with the ball for ASU. Meanwhile, Corey Dorenzo is seeking for ASU. Kobe Kendall quitting himself well at seeker. Luke Steining bringing it up for the Raptors. Steining going, going. Oh, uh, tries to get it to Stokes, but there's Quinn Pitcher in the way and he's not having it. Oof! Raptor Seeker wraps up ASU's Seeker long enough for his beater to beat them out. Quinn Pitcher bringing it up nice and slow. He does need to pass midfield, though. But he is also being stopped, so there we go. We're on the move again. Kobe Kendall hanging out by midfield as he should at this first handicap. That's no goal and the ball goes off pitch. That was a choice. Um, Luke Steining bringing it up again. Looks like Danica Bond with the bludger. Protecting Luke Steining. Danica Lou, sorry, Bond was the name she had before she got married. Old habits are hard. All right, that's another wrap and goal. It is 70 to 130. Utah not giving up on this game, nor should they, no matter how much I am freezing off my keister. Um, anyway, 27 for <coughs> ASU trying to get around Kendall. All right, bludger control for ASU, something they desperately need to give their seeker time to pull Kobe's tail. Quinn Pitcher taking it easy, looking for his chance. There, is that it? Is that it? I don't know, trying to keep, doing my best to keep Quaffle and Snitch in, though, because it is getting real interesting and spicy. Sam Moss seeking for ASU right now. So close. Ah, Danica. <coughs> Excuse me. We have definitely still got ourselves a game here. Sam Moss trying to swim past Kobe, but he takes her broom. Luke Steining bringing up the quaffle for Raptor Quidditch. Oh, 
Oh, the pump shot maybe a little too early, but Raptor Quidditch still does have the ball beyond the ASU sidelines. Apologies for it being blocked. Colton Lynch gets it. Pitcher keeper ball. Maria Stokes is heading back to her half of the pitch. to get to the one-arm handicap, which is, you know, where the top stitches want to go to at the very least. Kobe, with one hand will be far easier to catch. Kobe, second handicap. There we go. Good movement, Quinn. Be left. All right, never mind. There he goes. Yeah, he's got one arm. We're good. All right. With one arm now, is this where Kobe goes down? No, he's shrugging it off so far. Colton Lish bringing down the Raptor point player, but there we go. Bludgers flying by the snitch. If there's one over here for 83 of Raptor Quidditch. Now Rothwell looking for an opening. Doesn't really have much. No. Tried to pass through a couple of ASU players too. Oh, shoot! Close, but no. Meanwhile, Kobe Kendall still doing a great job fending off the ASU seeker, but he's got help from, oh, so close. You hate to do that as a beater. Been there, done that, burned in my brain forever. It's another ASU goal, and the score is now 150 to 70. Hi, Eric. Sorry this game's taking so long, but at least there's nothing after it. Coverage, uh, we will be back, not in the next time slot, but the one after it. Though the way this game is going, it won't be long. Alright, the Raptor Quidditch goal. The score is 80. Yeah. 80 Raptor Quidditch, 150 ASU. This game really showing no signs of. So okay, I hear the Raptor bench hearing cat calling catch, so it looks like both teams are now trying to end this game one way or another. AS uh, Raptor Quidditch put up an excellent fight, got an excellent start, but ASU seems to have gotten the better of them this time around. Oh, and we got a pull. Let's see if it's good. The Raptors got their use up. They're ready for this game to be over. And it's good. Final score is 110. Raptor Quidditch, 150 ASU. Pitch 310, Raptor Quidditch. Okay. Danny! Doing it now. Danny, you need to go! Danny, you need to go to pitch one now! Yes! Danny, you need to ref! You need to go to your head ref slot now. Okay, that's fine, and then do that. They already told me. They said I had a second because I just played. I know. I'm. I'm not mad at you. I'm just. I'm.